We are there once again, a couple of weeks away from another qualifier. This time, the African Cup of Nations 2023 qualifiers. And today, I'm going to run you through a possible squad that will be named by a coach who is yet to be announced, Otto Addo. Uh, we saw him guide us uh, through uh, the World Cup playoffs versus the Nigeria Super Eagles. And uh, because of that, he's going to be giving the mantle for at least 18 months. A uh, announcement eminent on that front as Borussia Dortmund have given him the go ahead. But today, we're going to look at the possible squad he will name. And starting off, as I usually do, and as I did in March, uh, with the goalkeepers. Uh, we're looking at the goalkeeping options for the Ghana Black Stars. And the four, I think, Otoado will stick with, along with some reasons why. I am naming them. As usual, subscribe if you have not. I click on the notification bell to get more updates. So the goalkeepers, uh, we all know most of the players that I'll be mentioning right now for this position. Uh, but it is going to be interesting to note that probably no locally based goalkeeper made it into my list. Uh, owing to the fact that a return for Ghanaian number one in Richard Ofori made that impossible to happen in my opinion that is what is going to happen a download ibrahim calls for him to make it into the goalkeeping discussion have now gone down further after the return of richard ofori and the performances of the other two goalkeepers without much ado let's get right into it i'll start off with the number one currently jojo walakot there is no denying jojo walakot's number one status in the ghana national team now after his amazing saves helped guide ghana out of the playoff into the world cup itself versus nigeria he has become ghana's new favorite person in the team jojo walakot after his introduction to the ghana black stars free had a real good start to his campaign uh, unfortunately uh, there was an abysmal african cup of nations which he wouldn't want to remember uh, he has grown out of that challenge and much helped ghana reach uh, the world cup uh, where he will possibly be the one uh, to lead uh, the back line for the Ghana Black Stars between the sticks. Jojo Walcott this season was included in the Sky Bet League 2 team of the season, winning the goalkeeper of the season. A great end to the season for him. He has missed their last two games, but his stats read as 37 games, all of them being 37 stats. He provided one assist in those games and has kept 10 clean sheets in those games. Jojo Alakot has had an impressive season uh, culminating in World Cup uh, qualification after his start into the Ghana national team only because of an injury uh, to the next person I'm going to talk about, uh, Richard Ofori, who was out for the Ghana Black Stars for close to six months. Ghana needed a replacement and uh, grew through scouting and through the recommendations of Richard Olele Kingston uh, to Milovan Rajabak who gave him the gong to start at the back in the qualifying campaign of the World Cup in the group stages, uh, Wallacott is able to now say he has a command over the number one spot. He is the number one for me in Ghana, rightly. Uh, someone else will have another say about that, and that would be Richard Ofori. Richard Ofori, since his return for Orlando Pirates, has been anything short of amazing. Richard Ofori was pivotal for his club side's progression into the semi-final of the CAF Confederations Cup. Since his return from injury, which was out for six months, he got injured in that game versus South Africa. He has played seven games in the league. He's played five games in the CAF Confederations Cup and kept three clean sheets. His coach has touted him as someone who has brought some calm into the team, his confidence has run through the whole squad and he is helping them get over the finish line. Possibly a trophy haul with the Confederations Cup? You never know. He along with Ghanaian Kwame Pepra have been shining out the South African League and they will be looking to get into the squad for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. Richard Ofori and Jojo Walakot are the top two goalkeepers for Ghana right now. Walakot recently said that he is not in competition with Richard Ofori per se, but he helps him become better because 
we all know if you have a player who is always pushing you and you are competing directly for places with him you have no choice than to become better richard ofori has a shout in there and many would want him instead of Wallacott, uh, due to one or two reasons uh, but Wofori remains my number two in this sport i think Wallacott has established himself uh, by richard Ofori has a shout he's been back and has been doing great things for his club he was in the squad that played versus nigeria unfortunately he did not start any of the games but he is with his experience someone who could still be called on uh, by a coach or to add the next goalkeeper I'll talk about is Lawrence Atizigi of St. Gallen. At 32 games and 32 starts, he has kept seven clean sheets himself for his club side St. Gallen. Not a, not a bad season for him. He has been one of the stalwarts for St. Gallen and he is looking to go to the World Cup. He has to start with uh, AFCON 2023 qualifiers and I'm sure he'll be one of the four goalkeepers that will be called uh, by coach Otoado. Uh, Lawrence Atizigi had his chance with the Ghana Black Stars, impressed in one friendly versus Qatar under CK Akono, which Ghana won 5-1 after coming on as a substitute, and since then, he has not looked back. Impressive for the Black Stars, at times not so great, but for his club side, he is a strong contender and a number one for them he is the number three for the ghana black stars in my books uh, finally uh, manaf nuruddin of uh, caps upen abdo manaf nuruddin this season he's played 20 games and has kept two clean sheets not great in terms of defensive ability there for him uh, he has not had a super season uh, but he has been impressive for Kasupen in Belgium this year and was part of the team that played in the playoffs for Ghana versus Nigeria. Uh, unfortunately for Manaf Nuruddin, when given the chance in a friendly versus Algeria, it was not something he held himself up in full glory. He faltered and had to replace by Atitigi, who also faulted and culminated in a 3-0 loss to Algeria in that friendly. Fast forward and he has been refreshing to watch for his club side. Those 20 games have come with two clean sheets, not the best for a goalkeeper, but he is a youngster who is still learning his craft and can improve. The future of the Ghana Black Stars, yes, probably he could be in there, but for now, he remains a fourth choice goalkeeper for me so those are my four goalkeepers i think will be called up for the african cup of nations qualifiers 2023 uh, lawrence atizigi manaf nuruddin richard ofori and jojo wallacott let me know your thoughts in the comments box on these four options and any other options you thought should replace any of these four options i just feel that these are the four guys in form right now in the goalkeeping a position that will be called up shout out uh, to Dan Lad Ibrahim but unfortunately with the return of Richard Ofori he doesn't get a call up Richard Atta I doubt he could make take the places of any of these four goalkeepers I'll see you guys in the next one have a great end to the week